don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Sees the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary, tons of blocked performances are on there as well, and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes, and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie and today we have some BI track films. We have number four, number five, number six, number seven, all the way up until 12, and I'm pretty sure 12 is the last one. If not, I will cry, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure 12 is the last one because I think there's only 12 tracks, right? Or something like that. But yeah, it's been like two days, so he hasn't up or one, yeah, two days. He hasn't uploaded anymore, so I think we're good. I think I can start reacting to them. All right, um, let's hop into the video. Turn us up, man. I'm sorry. The production for Hanbin's videos is so high. Like, even like a little better than YG. Like, he's really working it here. Oh, that's creepy. That's very. I'm sorry. I keep mentioning Teen Wolf in a lot of videos, but I've been rewatching Teen Wolf, and that just reminds me of like season two, like episode eleven or something. Or spoiler alert: the episode when Jackson's like cocooned inside the thing, and um, Melissa opens it, and he's like covered like a cocoon. You know, it, it reminds me of that. But um, okay wow but i'm confused so this is such high production and it, it, there's so much work being put towards each track film but i don't think each is going to get a music video so unless um all of these are going to form like the title track music video because like why would you put so much effort into 30 second clips especially because this is just his company right so i feel like it's a lot of money to be put towards all this well maybe it's not as expensive as i think it is but it looks like each of them could just have their own music video. The sound of Numb though, it just feels a little like... It sounds almost like a rock song. Like, not really, but... I feel so numb. Like, that sounds like such a... I don't know. It kind of gives me almost Linkin Park vibes. I know it's because Numb is the same song, but... Title, but you know, like... That one sounds upbeat, but like it's gonna have sad lyrics. <laughs> Illusion. Let's see if these connect or something. Maybe... Oh! Cocoon. Did I not just reference Teen Wolf a few seconds ago? Ew. That jacket's so disturbing. Ooh. Aww. Ugh. This clip is 30 seconds, but the song's like 10 seconds of it. And it's so frustrating because I want to hear more. This is cool. I like this shot. Ooh. Okay, so it seems like he's sort of filming in the same areas, but like each video has a different vibe, so you wouldn't notice unless you're looking for it. So it probably isn't as expensive as I would assume. Flow away. Oh, we about to get some deep layers here. Oh, this one's more simple. Yeah, let it out. <laughs> Oh, he looks so cute there. Wow, these are so short. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so... It feels like it would be more, but it's just because, like I said, like the last few seconds are the ad for it. When does it come out again? The first. Dang. That's not... It's next week, but oh, it's so far away. Help me. Ooh, vocals. I love when he sings. Oh, this one might be my favorite. Give me more, give me more, please. Oh my god, he's not trash. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Oh, ooh, I'm okay. This looks like the... I remember when I'm okay came out and there was like the pictures and stuff. This reminds me, and it says like, I'm okay in red letters. It reminds me of that. 
oh vibes and help me i'm okay i feel like ooh. <sighs> oh oh i'm gonna cry i know i'm gonna cry in the when i react to the songs i know i am i'm a baby especially when it comes to haunting i'm gonna cry during that reaction Oof, these songs are gonna hit okay oh uh, this i saw so many pictures of this because everyone was like um bi versus hanbin and this is hanbin <laughs> it was so cute so i saw pictures but that's it remember me oh he's so cute oh oh he has the red cheeks with the freckles Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I think this one has the most views. I could be wrong. I, I wasn't really looking at the views. I already saw this picture too. Spoilers on Twitter. Oh, this is so cute. Cute. Okay, now stay featuring question mark question mark question mark. Who is it gonna be? Did I watch this? Oh no, I think um the other song has question marks too. How is he gonna look like this after we just saw him being all cute? Whoever is featuring is probably in the car. Maybe? That'd be cool. Ugh. I really want, um... I really want Lehi and Hanbin to have a song together again. I mean, I definitely don't doubt they're going to eventually, but I kind of hope, uh... Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, but I want Lehi and Hanbin again. They sound so good together, but I don't know if it'll be on this album. It's gonna happen. Gray. Oh, I like his little flow here. It's different from the other songs. So is he in the car from the last video? Oh, that one's so short. Oh, yeah, it was only, oh my God. This, oh, they keep getting shorter and disturbed. No, Hanbin is so beautiful. Okay, <sighs> then. Ooh. I like his vocals, I can't deny. Hanbin doesn't have like the biggest range ever, but I feel like he knows what to do with his voice, which is always more important than range. If you know what to do with your voice, you don't need a big range because you can sound better than the people who can hit high notes, you know? I think he can hit some high notes though, uh, but he doesn't have the biggest range. But he just, he's such an artist. He knows how to work with himself and sound good and change things up all the time. What an artist. So I feel like maybe there's no one in the car. Maybe he's like finding himself, you know? Which makes sense because that's what the album's kind of, I feel, it's his story and everything. So what if the whole time he looks in the car but he's actually the one in the car? Like, oh, like, and I'm okay when he gets out of the car and he's all bloody and stuff. I don't know if he would continue from that, but similar to that, like, it's, but he looks in the car and it's himself all injured and stuff and he helps himself. Oh my God, genius. I'm sorry. I should work on music videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that smart, but it's like been done before. He's in the field again. So what if he's like lost in the field and then he goes and approaches the car? Cause didn't he do this in another one in the waterfall one or something i don't remember but and then he sees the car crash and it's him and this whole time he was lost in the field and then he refines himself again because the next song is called rebirth and it's more colorful in the thumbnail so i don't know i feel like something along that line is going to happen this one sounds nice too um
Oh my god, is this demo one? Wait, I wasn't paying too much attention to the song. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I wasn't listening too deeply to it. Oh. Oh, this album's gonna. I can't. This album's gonna make me cry. Oh my god. I remember when it came. Oh my. I'm gonna cry. Mm, don't cry, Angie. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. If you were like there when that came out, we were all crying. <laughs> okay, the final song, Rebirth. See how much brighter this is and he's in the field again. And all the other ones, it was like darker, more grungy and gray. And Hanbin said he always wanted to like live in the mountains and be like free and away from everyone and dang. I hope he got to do that when he was on his hiatus. Oh, the fuck? baby, you're killing it. Ah, oh, I hate this. Stop teasing. Okay. Oof. Ah. Oh. Okay, wow. I'm so excited. I usually avoid these things, but Hanbin's a special case here where I feel like I want to kind of watch and do everything he puts out um, right away. And I'm really glad I got to like kind of experience all these little things. Um, it's been a wild journey, but like we're here, we're here supporting our king. And I'm really excited for his album. I feel like sometimes, especially because his album's gonna be so long, it can be a little draining to listen to like, cause I'm, I've gotten kind of used to groups. I used to only really like, no, I liked groups when I was not into K-pop because I liked One Direction, Little Mix and stuff. But it's kind of jarring to go from mainly listening to one person singing a whole song to going to listening to 12 different vo voices or even eight and seven and, you know you're kind of used to having all these different textures of voices and rapping and singing and you know it's i feel like a group to me can sometimes be way more fun and interesting to listen to because like i said you get different voices and different tones and textures and rapping and singing and stuff so it kind of feels you feel like you're always getting something new so to listen to like a whole album with one artist it sounds stupid but it's kind of like harder like to get into it sometimes um i feel like the main people i can do that with is like bobby um and even then i feel like bobby because he has such a distinct tone and he can switch it up sometimes but you know he has a very distinct voice like he has a very distinct tone it is like it can maybe sometimes to some people be maybe boring to listen to his whole album through i like it because he did different styles and like he went rock and a little more uh, fun and poppy and like he did different stuff i feel like his albums always even though it's a consistent story it changes a lot and i think it's really cool so but i feel like hanman he has a very unique tone as well but he can kind of i think do more with it so I feel like his album is going to be really good and interesting and to have that many tracks it's going to I feel like it's going to be a long ride but it's going to be a really fun one, really sad one, really happy one. You know, we're going to be through all these emotions together and I really can't wait. Um I think it comes out when I'm going to be at work. So I'm going to be really sad, but I don't wait, let me check. Um Oh. I'm going to be off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't think I'm going to react to it like right away because it will be probably like late. I forgot what time it said, but I'm off. Thank God. Okay, so I'm excited. Let me know which song you're looking forward to most. Um, I said the ones I liked. I can't remember which ones they were, but it was more of the slow ones. And then I liked the cute one. That one seems really interesting. And then Rebirth is going to be. And then we get to hear like demo one when it's like in a full more proper i guess place you know so that's gonna be interesting but that is it for this video let me know if you're as excited as i am and i can't wait to get the album 
and everything. Oof, it's gonna, I think mine's gonna be delayed because I put it with a group order of other albums that I think come out after, so that's sad, but it'll be fun, it'll be fun, it'll be fine. I can deal with that. So I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. <laughs> Say, 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 say.